being a land guard or contracting somebody to guard your land, is it, is it a crime? Well, um, first and foremost, let us consider what a crime is. A crime is simply an act that is prohibited by statute or by law and for which the appropriate sanctions or punishments have clearly been defined. Now with this background, let us look at the relevant applicable laws we have in Ghana to see if any of them expressly prohibits the set of conducts that we generally know or consider to be land guardism. I will first refer you to the Vigilantism and Related Offences Act of 2019, which states expressly in Section 1 that its scope applies to land guardism or land guards, it applies to owners of lands, it applies to purchasers of lands, as well as real estate developers. Now, we all know that this set of people or this group of people are those who are more likely to engage the services of land guards as we know them to be. Now, this statute does not only really stop there. It goes on in Section 7 to further state the prohibition of the activities of land guards. So when you look at Section 7, it has eight subsections, all of them are on land guards and it expressly prohibits one, the procurement, the aiding, the abetting, the promotion of the activities of land guards, as well as a person being a land guard himself. And there are appropriate sanctions. The offenses, sorry, the punishments for them are clearly spelled out. The person who procures a land guard may go to jail for for between 5 years to 15 years. A person who, who um, himself is a land guard may go to jail or may serve a prison term of between 10 years to 15 years. And if it is done with an offensive weapon, then the law actually intensifies the, um, the punishment with a ceiling of up to 25 years. Indeed, the Act also defines who a land guard is in Section 11, which is the interpretation section. And it says a land guard is simply a person who uses violence or threats to protect or guard land or property belonging to that person or another person. So here, the law not only prohibits and spells out the, the prohibited conduct, it also clearly defines the term land guardism as we have come to know. Apart from the Vigilantism and Related Offenses Act, there are relevant provisions also in the, in the Land Act of 2020 at 1036. When you look at Section 12, it also provides a list of activities which would constitute activities of land guards and which have also been prohibited with clear sanctions or punishments stated. So when you look at these two, definitely I would conclude that indeed the activities of land guard is a crime. So is, if somebody has a land and uh, there's a land guard there on, should a person, if you say it's a crime, just like a matter of stealing under uh, our criminal statutes, should a person report to the police? Oh yes, absolutely. Because yes, it's an offense. So the normal procedure of um, engaging the criminal, um, pro the, the criminal procedure, okay, that is exactly how um, you do that by lodging a complaint to the police. Investigations will be conducted, and then criminal prosecutions will follow. But of course, where the activities of land guards have, for instance, resulted in death, and the death is intentional. Then, where um, a stranger, um, what we call it, punishment exists for murder in the Criminal Offences Act or manslaughter in the Criminal Offences Act, 
I should believe there, should, um, there shouldn't be any difficulty prosecuting a person under the general statute. 